Welcome to the weekly Management Matters show with Paragon Intel. I'm CEO Ty Popplewell. As always, I'm joined by our president, Colby Howard. Really busy week, Colby, as people come out of earnings. I'll start with management track research. Tough, tough week for Activision CEO Bobby Kotick. Under attack, employees, customers, partners, um, all uh, exerting pressure as he uh, is accused of a variety of improprieties. Just a reminder, management track first highlighted Kodak's expansive civil litigation history in mid-September and also highlighted the additional amendments added to his most recent civil case at the same time. Um, from when we alerted clients on September 16th to what was going on um, with Kodak at, at Activision, the stock is down 20%. Expect continued pressure on him, a situation to watch. We've also uh, have considered and are, are speaking with folks about uh, doing a group source project. So let us know if you're interested. Um, secondly, we per produced a preliminary dossier on Corteva CEO, Chuck Mangro. It's on the platform. Take a look. Um, next, a busy week with adding new uh, situations and CEOs to our uh, backlog. And so we are publishing on Dynatrace new CEO, Rick McConnell. We also added Western Union new CEO, Devin McGranahan to our backlog. And finally, Six Flags new CEO, Salim Basul. Reminder on Six Flags, we actually published in early 2020 on new CEO, Michael Spanos at the time. Came out negative on Six Flags and Spanos. Um, COVID didn't do him any favors, but the stock uh, underperformed the peer set by 77%, and he's out in less than two years. Get a second bite at the apple at that one. We'll see if we think Salim will do any better. Colby, how do we do on appearances this week? What do we say? Absolutely. Yeah, with earnings winding down, huge uptick in appearances. One notable video was Todd McKinnon, Okta's CEO, going on the Fort Knox video podcast type format, uh, that's a $40 billion company almost, and only 349 views, 349. Mm -hmm. This is a guy, hour-long conversation, talking about the history of Okta, how they almost went under, and especially going into how they used to be a password company, then they were a security company, and now they're an identity management company, and what that means for the future. He's very good at it, very simply explaining what that means. Mm -hmm. And then on the podcast side, you had an advanced auto parts CFO, Jeff Shepard, getting his shot at explaining earnings on the TD Ameritrade podcast. Uh, always good to get a different voice other than the promoter CEO uh, talking about earnings. So definitely check that out. And then you have Eric Yuan of Zoom doing a very rare podcast called Killer Innovations. And he talks about the opportunity for Zoom going beyond just offices telemedicine, surgery, education, a lot of that depends on our internet infrastructure. But this is a chance to kind of get a view on who he is as a CEO, considering he very rarely does this. And then finally, you have Paul Cusero, who is CEO and chairman of Amadesis, which is a home healthcare company. He talks about his employees doing God's work. The last time I really heard that was Lloyd Blankfein talking about Goldman employees. This is a little bit different. It's a view into how he actually views the work that he does in the healthcare sector. And it's a great view on who he is as a CEO. This is at the Kane Healthcare Conference. Definitely worth a listen. And as we wrap this up, we think appearances are going to skyrocket through the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Definitely companies doing damage control if they need to uh, after the latest earnings, but also doing it on CNBC, but also non traditional formats as well management track catches them all. We will keep you up to date and see you next week.